Happy Spooky Sunday, everyone, and welcome to part 13 of the Fair River Forest series. If you haven't seen the previous videos in the series, I'd recommend checking them out first. I've included links to them in the description box below. Today's story is called One, Two, Three. Jane peered down into the opening in the earth. Three faces stared up at her. One was Willow's, her eyes red and puffy, no trace of makeup upon her face. The second belonged to a girl of about nine who looked vaguely familiar, although Jane could not place her. Her face was dry, but her eyes were wide and round like an owl's. The final face, set with red-rimmed eyes, was Cam's. They were standing beside Willow, one arm around her shoulder. Their hair had grown to reach their collarbone, but otherwise they looked almost the same as they had six years ago. You're making a huge mistake, Sheriff Mitchell said. Sophie needs her big sis. Are you really going to turn your back on her? I said shut up, Grace said, her voice almost a snarl. Jane glanced over her shoulder. Grace was standing with her gun aimed at the sheriff. She nodded, keeping her gaze fixed on the sheriff all the while. I've got this, she said. Bring them up. Grace says to come on up. She's got the sheriff at gunpoint, so he shouldn't be able to hurt you. But Willow... Jane's throat tightened as a new set of tears dampened her cheeks. Yes? Dad's been shot. Pretty badly, I think. Willow blanched, the last vestiges of color draining from her already pale face. Cam squeezed her shoulder. Go on up and see him. A metal ladder rose up from the floor to meet the lip of the earth. Willow's arms trembled as she reached for it. The ladder clanked beneath her feet. She crested the top, her eyes darting around the clearing. Jane bent down and took her hands, hoisting her onto the grass. Jane threw her arms around Willow. Willow squeezed back, but her grasp was weak. Hot emotion flooded Jane's heart as she felt the solidness of Willow's body. The nightmare was over at last. Willow was here. Water cascaded down Jane's face. I missed you so much, she said. I miss you too, Willow said. Cam appeared beside Willow and Jane gave him a hug. The girl had climbed out too, but she was standing off to one side, away from everyone else. Where's dad? Willow said. This way, Jane said. She led Willow across the field and Cam and the little girl followed. Sheriff Mitchell glared at the quartet. A chill ran from the base of Jane's neck down through her toes as the sheriff's dagger sharp eyes locked under hers. You'll pay for this, he said. All of you. I'll see to it. Ignore him, Grace said. Go see your dad. I've got everything under control. Keith Howard's prone silhouette was barely distinguishable from the grasses surrounding it. His eyes were closed, and he lay motionless. Jane's heart caught. He couldn't be dead. No way, he couldn't be. Willow knelt down beside him, and Jane followed Sue. Dad? Willow said. Keith's eyelids fluttered. Willow? Yes, it's me. His arm lifted slowly toward her and she squeezed his hand. I'm sorry, he said. It's okay, Dad. His eyes moved past her shoulder and he frowned. Cam? His gaze shifted back to Willow. Where's the other one? Colin's gone. Hmm. Keith's eyes closed. Willow turned to Jane, fresh tears staining her cheeks. We need to get Dad out of here now. Leave me, he said. You go. No, Willow and Jane said in unison. The truck's about a mile, mile and a half from here, Jane said. That's not too far, Cam said. He crouched down beside Keith. Mr. Howard, I'm going to try and help you up. Can you put your arm around my shoulder? Keith groaned as he lifted his arm. Tears stung the corners of Jane's eyes and she turned away. Grace, we have to go, Jane said. What about the sheriff, Grace said. Put a bullet through his head, Keith muttered softly. I think we have to leave him, Jane said. We'll call the deputy on the way to the hospital. Keith moaned and Jane spun around. He was on his feet, leaning against Cam. We've got to go, Cam said. Grace, come on, Jane said. Grace looked at the sheriff for a long moment and then jogged over to Jane. Let's get out of here. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you did, consider giving it a like 
or letting me know in the comments. I post new videos here twice a week, funny or outrageous ones on Wednesdays and spooky ones on Sundays. Thanks for watching and have a great day.